Operation SC Revelation, introducing splinter cell conviction by using augmented reality on the mobile phone. Game developer Ubisoft was about to release a revolutionary new episode of the Splinter Cell game series. It features amazing gameplay and stunning graphics. The game is considered the new standard for stealth action shooter games. So just like the game, the introduction had to be cutting edge. The introduction had to create a buzz around the game to make the mainstream target audience aware of the Splinter Cell release. We needed something that was new, cool and that had never been done before. So we set up another game, Operation SC Revelation, and it was a real life prequel to what was going to happen in the Splinter Cell Conviction game. Operation SC Revelation was played by walking through Amsterdam whilst looking through a mobile phone that used an augmented reality browser, Layer. Layer showed what was around the players by displaying real-time digital information on top of the real world, as seen through the camera of their mobile phone. A new world would literally reveal itself. The game objective was simple. Players took on the identity of third echelon Agent X and had to take part in Operation SC Revelation. The operation consisted of six missions spread throughout the city. The hunt passed the red light district, the canals, creepy alleys and led the players eventually to a store where they could buy Splinter Cell Conviction. When completing the tour successfully, they were given a complimentary limited edition third echelon t-shirt with their purchase. Operation SC Revelation was a multimedia event. The hunt used a mixture of real life, 2D and 3D augmented reality effects, audio clips and offline media such as stickers, posters and real actors, making it the first time Layer was used to create an unforgettable brand experience. But how did we get people to play? Fortunately, gamers and the mobile internet had a perfect match. We set up a landing page with instructions where and when to play Operation SC Revelation. Both PR, seeding and banners were used to generate traffic to the site. The press also played an important role in our media strategy. The game press were invited to be the first to walk the route. The hunt led the press to the Krasnopolsky Hotel where they could play Splinter Cell Conviction for the first time. A bouncer made sure only journalists who completed all missions could get in, leaving some disappointed participants. Newspapers like Metro devoted full-colour spreads to the game. Numerous articles were posted on blogs, there were dozens of reviews and several game sites produced short movie clips. A total media value of €300,000 was generated in just a few days. That got the public interested. 